Hi everyone, I'm Jen, one of the nutritionists with Missouri, and I'm here with Amanda Vandenbosch, owner of Flying Dutchman Alpacas and Alpaca Educator and Senior Judge. Hopefully you've had a chance to review our new body condition scoring guide. Uh, right now we're going to do a tutorial of going through the techniques outlined in that guide, hands-on with the actual alpacas. Thanks Jen, let's go to the alpacas. All right, let's go. Here we are presenting the new Missouri alpaca body conditioning scoring chart. This is a chart that has been developed to show you clearly how to assess your alpacas in the field back at your farm and to do an evaluation to make sure that they're in good body condition. On the scoring chart here, it shows you a very clear uh, range of one to five. One being an alpaca that would be too thin to five being an alpaca that would be too fat and showing um, over conditioning. We want them to be optimum. We want them to be in optimum health, have good immunity, and also be able to grow the luxurious fiber and make sure that it is strong and healthy as we then take it off of them each year into production. With this chart here, it clearly shows you four stages. First of all, we're visually going to look at the alpaca from the side profile, and then we're actually gonna put our hands on. This is really important. I'm going to take my fingers into a V and I'm gonna run them along the top line. I'm gonna put my hands across the alpaca, coming all the way from the front to the back, to the hips. And I want to make sure that the alpaca has a good amount of muscle and flesh on there. And also running my hands across the ribs. I want to be able to feel the ribs, but I don't want them protruding out. If they were, the alpaca would be too thin. And if I put my hands on there and I could not feel the ribs, the alpaca would be too fat. So in this, um, hands-on evaluation, you really have to press down past the fiber. This is a Suri alpaca, so you can see it's a little easier to actually see their body shape. In the wakaya, the fiber's a little bit longer, so you're going to have to really put a little bit of pressure as you work across their body. Then we're actually going to look at the alpaca facing forward. As we bring him forward, we're going to look between his chest and between his front legs here. And you can see as I come down through his chest, I want to see a clear um, opening there between his legs. If he was too fat, he would be carrying a lot of fat here in the front and also between those front legs. If we turn him and look at him from the back view, as he comes around here, when we look between these back legs, we again want to see some muscle on those back legs and coverage, but we don't want to see them too fat carrying too much body condition. Those are areas that are very clear visually to see if the alpaca is too thin or too fat. We're gonna bring him back into a profile view and so as we look at this alpaca here and I do my evaluation, I've run my hands across the top. I've run my hands across the ribs. I visually have looked at the front and I have also looked at him from behind. So the evaluation on this alpaca, he is at two and a half out of five. So he's in optimum condition that we want to see.